Hello happy campers, Tom Hughesby here with Will Estate Bros. Today I'm going to have turn the mic and the camera over on Gareth. He's at RV Country in Mount Vernon, Washington and he's going to give us a review of a Taxa Cricket. Check it out. Hey campers, it's Gareth here at Mount Vernon RV Country and I'm here to show you the Taxa Cricket. Uh, these are a very special RV. As a matter of fact, they call them the Habitat because they are a little bit different than your standard RV experience as far as how they're a hybrid in between uh, the RV experience and the campground. I'm going to do a short walk around video where I show you all the features that this has to offer. You've got your hot cold shower right there, power hookup, water, uh, city water, and then you have your Truma water heater right here and plug and play solar come down the side this is where your tank fills at and you've got a nice handy spot here that you can kind of step and stand on use as you want at the campsite and then remember i was talking about how these habitats combine the inside with the outside so you've got your dinette right here but the whole back opens up so you can kind of enjoy your campsite while you're eating or enjoying the habitat all right, so now we're going to go over some of the inside features and show you what these, this habitat has to offer. So everything on this guy is to keep the weight in consideration. So you got like these milk crate um, drawers here to keep the weight down. Um, same with the balsa wood uh, cabinets. And then you have your sink right here. And you also have your two burner propane right there. And those are some nice burners. So on this guy, you're going to notice you have the Truma system that's very uh, uh, common within your B-Vans, not as common within a, an RV or a habitat like what we're in right now. Very efficient system. It's both your furnace and your hot water heater combo. Um, uses very low amount of propane. Then you also have your light switches in through here. Uh, you have a, a power spot here. Um, this is where your furnace comes out. The hot air comes out through there. And you also have... Oh, Hit on the wrong spot. Your fuse box right there too. Also for ventilation on these guys, you can have these open like this, um, where you can get some air through, but you saw that screen, you don't have to worry about bugs or anything like that. Very nice. So one of the really good features that they did on this guy is making this area versatile. So you have your dinette right here. This also comes down into your main sleeping. You also have a bunk right here. Then over here on the sidewall, you've got your light switches. This is a, a night light here. Then you also have your rear and front light. Um, and then to show that night light as well, it's that cool red light right there. And at nighttime, that does brighten up this area quite a bit. These cool screens. So you have this one right here for just keeping bugs out, but when you still want to get air through. Then you got this one here that does a little bit more of the blackout feature. These windows here are actually designed so when this guy's open, you can tighten this guy up so it holds at whatever desired angle you want it at. And same with that guy. And it's angled in a way so that on a rainy day, that rain's gonna run off the edge of that and not into your window right here. Oh, very nice. I'm also gonna show you how these stabilizers work. You got one on all four corners. They went with this type because it's a little bit uh, lighter weight, keeping that weight down. But you got this little tool right here. Just goes on there like that. And then you just on down. And it has the same kind of setup on all four corners. And then the other thing I want to show you is what the inside of this guy looks closed up. And then I'm also going to show you how to open it up. So first, you pull this little pin right here in the front and release this guy. And then you can just go ahead and put the pin back right here because you don't want to misplace that. Then go inside. Push it on this little button right there and unhook that. And then same on this side right here. You'll start to hear it release. You have to pull it down just a little bit unhooked. And then it has these nice little bars right here to help. Oh, very nice. So simple. 
Very, very simple. Very simple. And easy. You see, I did it with one hand. Yeah, anybody could do that. You've got this nice LED light strip right here, and then a very nice manual awning. So this guy, you pull it out, and it's got two physical legs that come down and attach to the ground, makes it kind of a nice canopy area for you. And then we're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history or the story behind this unit. You might have noticed in the video they referred to this as a habitat. The reason being is the uh, engineer that designed this actually created habitats for NASA. Uh, so this guy comes out of Houston, um, and it has that same kind of attention to detail. And you'll notice it kind of has that science fair kind of vibe. It's really fun for families. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and a big thanks to Gareth here for giving us this review of the taxa cricket go ahead and give us a like here on youtube share it with your friends any comments on something you want reviewed next let us know have a great day i almost forgot one of my favorite segments when i'm doing these videos is to tell a dorky dad joke so you weren't even ready for this it's a complete so, surprise complete surprise so why was santa's little helper so depressed i don't know why he had low elf esteem <laughs> that's a pretty good one thanks for watching <laughs>